Obviously that one's ripped off as well. It's snowing like a motherfucker. All right, guys, I got a fucked up one for you guys today. The food trailer you see me welding on and doing the generator holder on the back of it, it had some issues. Not my work, but the trailer itself. So if you can recall, I was bitching about how thin the metal was. I really wish you assholes who made these trailers would stop using fucking 16 gauge. Fuck you. Well, guess what? The owner ripped the axles right out from underneath this motherfucker and not even doing anything stupid, just making a sharp turn. So today our task is we're going to go ahead and we're going to plate over the existing frame steel, which is only 16 gauge. We're going to be using 316, so we're going to be using flux core. I got my little uh, flux core Hobart back there. You can't really see it right now. I brought my cordless DeWalt a bullet heater, which I fucking love this thing because it uh, runs on battery. We're gonna try to heat this uh, this storage unit up. He's got a pretty big one, plenty of room for me to work. And we're gonna see if we can't work our magic and get this man back in business. Okay guys, here it is. Let me show you what we got going on. See the frame is bent down right there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's actually bent right there and it's bent on both sides like that. Hopefully we can strengthen this thing up by sistering in this steel. So I'm gonna start by splitting this piece of uh, rectangle tubing up. I need to cut the top of it off and then I need to split it right down the middle so that way I can go right around our existing piece of frame. Because they don't make a piece of tube that would go around that frame. So we have to kind of custom make something. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take my feet square like so start to turn that so you guys can see and then I just take my chalk stick my chalk right in the first little area right up against this and I'm just gonna run it down that's gonna give me my cut line I might have to do it a couple times because it's just the oil such oily metal all the metal you get around here is oily Yeah, I don't know what that is, but it's like the, the cutoff wheels are just getting cheaper and cheaper. Everything, brother. Yeah. So the game plan is, we're going to start cutting get another piece over there. While I cut a piece over here just to speed things up. Um, he's a really capable guy. Normally I wouldn't have a customer do that, but he has experience in this field. So we're going to have him do that. So just to make the prep work a little quicker. you a better look at what's going on you can see that fucking shackles completely flipped and ripped off this one's ripped off as you guys can see that obviously that one's ripped off as well subscribe got this one prepped out. I'm going to do all of them the same. I'm going to prep them out a lot the same. We're going to prep the frame and uh, we're going to have to notch around these. Also remove the bolts for the brake wire here, um, which it appears there is no brake wire on that side, which is not good. 
But yeah, so that's what we gotta do. We gotta take this all apart and then we'll sister in our pieces here. As you can see, there was really no penetration from this weld into that metal there. And it had been broken for a while, as you can tell by the rust, but it's burning hot. One degree, so it's not that negative 30 we were at the other day, but you can see it's snowing like a motherfucker. But luckily we're indoors. Yeah, there's self tapper so we need to get these two off. Okay. There's four of them, and then uh, we need to take the piece, put it up against this, and then mark where our piece is notched. Piece notched. Yeah. And then you, uh, I'll, I'll send you back out to notch it, and I'll finish okay. prepping this. Okay. So now you can see what I was talking about. This is what we're doing. This is the best repair that I know to do. So we're gonna sister it in. We'll put the other side on. The other side's gonna be a lot easier to fuck with than this side, because what I'm gonna do is break the tires off. Once I have this tacked up here and welded on this side, I'm gonna weld this down the middle. It's not gonna be, like I said, I'm not gonna go ahead and do a full bead all the way down this. We're just gonna go like every six inches or so, guesstimate that. I'm not gonna sit here with the fucking measuring tape, waste of time. But yeah, that should work out pretty good. I'm sure a lot of you are wondering why I didn't break the tires off. Well, that's because the axle will drop to the ground, and I don't feel like fighting around those or trying to lay on top of those. Warmed up quite a bit. It's a really beautiful day in the valley. Um, yesterday when we were trying to work, it was a lot colder. So uh, hopefully today's a little bit easier and maybe I'll be able to get a little more film for you guys. Yesterday I had, to, I had to stop halfway through. I was having such trouble with that MIG, but I think I figured out my problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna do my best today to try to wrap this thing up. I'll show you what kind of progress we've made. All right, so here's what we've gotten done so far. We've sandwiched the original frame with these two pieces like I was talking about. Um, yesterday I was having problems with my welder, so I didn't finish. So I'm gonna finish this side real quick, and then I need to get underneath, weld the bottom. Uh, I'm not welding all the way out. I'm just basically doing like one inch welds, every about six inches or so. So uh, let's get cracking on this. So the reason that we did this square tube gusset uh, type repair instead of going out and getting a piece broke was really ease of access to material and also time. Um, it would have taken at least until the new year to get a piece broke, and this was done on Christmas Eve. As far as doing the one inch weld every six inches, the reason I'm doing that is I don't wanna to put too much heat input into the 16 gauge piece. It'll weaken it, and that's not what we wanna do. Contact tip. Unfortunately, that's the problem. Flux core is so soft 
Um, it just, it, it's, it's hard to not make it jam up if it's welded to your tip. It's happened, I don't know, a dozen times. I mean, you can see all this fucking wire. It's just fucking ridiculous. But let's get this thing unjammed. He's going to go get me new contact tips right now, hopefully. So um, hopefully we can just go ahead and, and uh, have a smoother day. Here's a little pro tip for you. If you're running short on your contact tips for your, your welder, um, what you could do is go ahead and use your uh, torch files or whatever the fuck you want to call these things and uh, just run it through a couple of times. Try to clean that out a little, clean it up a little. And then if you've got a regular file, it's a little quicker than the gay little file they give you in this. I don't even understand why they put that thing in there. It's not even a fucking file. And then you just take your regular file and run it over the tip until you got it bare and clean again. So that's a little bit better. I don't know if that's focusing on that, but you can probably get the gist of what I'm getting at. So hopefully it doesn't stick as much. Let's get back to welding. Much smoother to come up, go back on than it was originally. Hopefully I didn't wall around until it's like an 035 now. That's fucking crazy. All right, so we keep running into weird issues on this trailer. And uh, unfortunately, I don't know whoever built this trailer was a real piece of shit because they, they, they cut in here with a grinding wheel and then never welded it in. As you can see, a crack is forming yeah. from that cut. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to take, disassemble this and repair that. And it has the same thing going on on this side. And I just noticed it, I didn't notice it before. But it's like they moved the, the leaf spring perches, yeah. and then... Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, man. It ain't your fault. I should have fucking pulled under this goddamn thing. Oh. Happens to the best of us. All right, but we're basically done with the repair that we knew to do on this side. Yeah. I just have a couple more welds to make, and then we're going to break these off, and we're going to go ahead and bevel out the cracks that we found on the axles and we're going to weld that out. So just like any crack, I'm going to go ahead and grind it out first. Oh man, it's a fucking neat one. We need to get a real grinding disc. I can't do this with a flat disc. Normally I would because it's a little gentler. It gives me a little more control. Yeah. Got it all beveled out. We're gonna go ahead, get the flux core, turn it all the way up to the 140 amps it'll do, and then burn that thing in.
As you can see, that flathead grinder comes in handy when you need it. Um, if you guys want to buy one, the link will be in the description below for you to buy one on Amazon. I suggest it, especially if you're going to be doing what I do. say about that oh uh, is the other auto place open nothing's open fuck christmas eve is what happens yeah um i mean i don't know i mean you could just strip it on yeah and just say fuck it for now yep and just know you're gonna have to torch cut it when you take it apart that's it for this video i'm not filming the other side as you see we got some pretty tight welds i did a stitch weld pattern to reduce the heat input into that 16 gauge material that they made the frame out of we uh, scabbed in some 3 16 we used some flux core we ran it about 140 amps uh, about 300 inches per minute and it came out pretty good um, we addressed some cracks that were on both of the axles due to grinder cuts that were never taken care of very interesting and uh, yeah, that's the whole show. Hopefully it's a little easier on the other side. Hopefully um, my buddy here gets a little bit of a break because he's just getting beat up by this trailer lately. Um, he's got a lot of money into this operation. They're losing a lot of money every day that this thing is down. So today is Christmas Eve, tomorrow is Christmas. He doesn't want to work tomorrow. I don't want to work tomorrow. So come Monday, we're going to hit the fucking ground running and we're going to try to take care of that other side. I'm Melt Metal Anthony. If you like what you saw here today, like, subscribe, share. If you didn't like it, well, you know what to do. Go fuck yourself because I don't give two shits. I don't make this for you. Anyway, have a great day. Keep pushing MIG, keep dragging stick, keep doing what you do, and I'll catch you on the next video. If Evan didn't make it, it's probably fucked up.